things that we'd like to do in maths clubs is to give learners more efficient ways of doing calculations than simply counting up in ones. Too often we see that if we ask a learner to do something like 6 plus 7, they'll draw 6 little stripes and then 7 little stripes and then count them all. Or alternatively, they'll count them up one by one on their fingers. What we want to do is give them more efficient ways of doing this. And we're going to use our anchor number of 10 in order to do this. And we're going to discuss here in this video a little process by which we're going to get them familiar with adding single digit numbers by bridging through that special anchor number, anchor number of 10. Now the process we're going to use is a process we use often in mathematics where we start from a very concrete representation. In other words, in this case, we're going to be using counters and 10 frames and learners are going to physically manipulate them in order to do the addition. When they're comfortable with that, we'll start to move away from the concrete a little bit and either use some sort of pictorial or imagined way of um, doing it. And finally, as they get used to that, we'll ultimately move to the abstract version where they will just be able to work with 6 plus 7 as numbers in their head. So let's start looking at the concrete way in which we do 6 plus 7, bridging through 10 in the middle. So if we had 6, we can see that as 6 apples sitting there in the 10 frame. We then want to add on 7 more apples. Now we could just count up, you know, 6 and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 20, but we want to move away from going up one at a time. So what we are going to do is we're going to use that anchor number of 10. We need to add on 7. Well, we can see quite easily that we need these four apples to fill in the gap to make up 10. But then we've only added on 4 so far, and we actually needed to add on 7. So we need three more apples, and then we can very easily see that what we have here is 10 plus 3 which is 13. So 6 plus 7 gives me 13. Now obviously we don't want to have to every single time take out the 10 frames and counters um, before we do an addition sum. So once learners have gone through this very concrete representation a number of times and got used to the idea of what you need to fill in to get to 10 and then how much more you need, we can then move to a slightly more abstract or well, let's say more pictorial or imagined way of doing it. And I'm going to show you how we do that now using the idea of getting to 10 in our head. I want to add 6 and 7. So I put 6 into my head. I then still need to add on a further 7. So I have 6 sitting in my head and I've got to add on these 7. But I always want to get to 10 in my head. So I've only got 6 there so far. So I need to take these 4 fingers to go with the 6 in my head to make me a 10. And then I've still got these three fingers left, and 10 and 3 gives me 13. So what we see is that we start learners working in the concrete. So with their 10 frames and counters, and using these to do addition by bridging through 10, filling up the 10 first and then seeing how much more to go. We then get them to just move a little bit away from the concrete using this idea of trying to get to 10 in your head and seeing how many fingers you still have left over. And as they become more and more familiar with that, hopefully they can start to actually lose the reliance on any form of fingers or anything and see that when they do 6 plus 7, it's 6 Four more to make 10, another three left, that'll get me to 13. And then as they become more and more familiar with that, eventually it will just become a known fact that they can, as they see, 6 plus 7, 
they'll immediately know the answer is 30.